Today's 49ers report is presented by Manscaped. You can get 20% off and free shipping by heading to manscaped.com slash 49ers. Join the 7 million men who have put their trust in Manscaped for the best men's grooming products, but also if you have a beard like the legend Rick Nyers, who we're going to send this helmet to, they have beard products as well. Manscaped.com slash 49ers, promo code 49ers for 20% off. All right, some loaded Niners free agency buzz is on the docket for today's show. John Lynch himself sharing some updates on some of the players on this Niners roster who are set to be free agents with NFL free agency kicking off pretty much on Monday with the tampering period. Then those deals become official on Wednesday when the new league year starts. And speaking of that, it's a great opportunity and time for you to subscribe to the show and turn on your notifications. We do videos and shows every single day, year-round on the San Francisco 49ers. We grind, we hustle, and because of that, we appreciate the support, but that's why we've been able to get to nearly 80,000 subscribers. So subscribe for more off-season coverage. We're talking free agency buzz, NFL draft prospect analysis, and when breaking news happens next week, we'll be going live, we'll be pushing out videos. You don't want to miss it. To set the stage here on the program today, San Francisco has 25 players who will be free agents. John Lynch sharing some updates on some of the marquee free agents who could either leave or return. Let's start off with Mike McGlinchey here. According to all accounts that I've seen, everything that I have heard, and what I've read and listened to from John Lynch, he too expects Mike McGlinchey to walk an NFL free agency because he's frankly going to cost too much for San Francisco. We're looking at a market between 15 and $18 million. I think a team like the Chicago Bears that wants to protect Justin Fields, that has a huge need at right tackle, could offer him a lot of money where the 49ers return by saying, we just can't match it. Here's what Lynch had to say about Mike McGlinchey. Really good football player. Mike is the totality of his game. At right tackle, there's a couple of elite ones, the Lane Johnsons of the world, and he's right behind them. In my mind, I see him being a coveted player. And him being a coveted player is probably why he's going to field massive offers. And if he wants to secure a bag, he can do it with a different team, not the San Francisco 49ers. Lynch also said he's going to have a really nice and handsome market. And that echoes what I've continued to say all throughout this year for Mike McGlinchey. I understand a lot of people in the faithful don't like him, but I'm telling you right now, he's either the second or third best tackle who's going to be a free agent. And as a run blocker, he's really good. As a pass blocker, he's above average. And you have to understand how desperate teams are in the NFL to bulk up their offensive line if they have a bad one. You look at the numbers for McGlinchey this past year, he played pretty solid football, especially coming down the stretch. More than 1,000 snaps played, 561 pass blocking snaps, 10 penalties, 6 sacks allowed, 3 hits, 27 total pressures. Has he lived up to the expectations of being a Trent Williams type of player, which a lot of people had those expectations for him coming out of Notre Dame as a top 10 pick? No. Is he a very solid right tackle in this league that doesn't have a lot of good ones? Yes. So, Faithful, I want to hear from you down in the comment section. Engage where you're at. Do you want McGlinchey to return? R for return. W for walk. Let me know. As for Jake Brendel, what's going to happen for a guy who was a journeyman backup center throughout his entire NFL career, and then last year for the first time in his career, he becomes a starter? and ended up playing pretty well, holding it down at that center position. I think that the Niners can upgrade there, but Jake Brendel would be a pretty solid player to bring back. Here's what Lynch had to say. We'd like to bring him back. He's a good player. I think he played very well for us, and we'd like to get Jake back. But there are better centers out there who are going to be free agents. You also have to keep in mind that you can get a very, very solid center in the NFL draft in the mid to later rounds and really not have to pay them that much money at all on a roster that is paying a lot of big-time dollars to some marquee players. Jake Brendel in 2022, he surprised many, including myself. I thought that he was going to be a stiff at that spot. He was much better than that. Only gave up one sack and three quarterback hits throughout the entire 2022 campaign. And because of that, a lot of teams are going to be interested in his services, especially a team like the Houston Texans. Top free agent centers in this 2023 class, Jason Kelsey, I think he's going to return to the Philadelphia Eagles. Ethan Pochich, 
of the Cleveland Browns is a very, very good player. Probably the best center outside of Kelsey among this group. Connor McGovern, solid player. Garrett Bradbury, Bradley Bozeman, and Jake Brendel rounding things out. Do the Niners need to upgrade from Brendel? Let me know. U for upgrade, S for stay. This is a pretty fascinating question because he exceeded all expectations this past year. I don't think that anybody can really dispute that. I had my questions for him because I had never seen him be a long-term starter in this league, but he actually ended up playing pretty damn good football. As I mentioned off the top of the show, 49ers Report today is presented by Manscaped. And as Jay-Z once said, this is a public service announcement. Manscaped now has beard products and is going even further with their brand new Weed Whacker 2.0. Go ahead and tell the world, folks, the leaders in below-the-waist grooming are traveling north of your South Pole with the revolutionary grooming products. The new Weed Whacker 2.0 and their new beard line confirms they have the best tools for your hygiene toolbox. Time for you to upgrade your game by heading to manscaped.com slash 49ers and use code 49ers for 20% off and free shipping. Gentlemen, meet the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. It's the ultimate package that makes it easier than ever to craft your signature look. Rick Nyers probably uses it. I know Trace Gerard does as well. It all starts with the cordless electric Beard Hedger. It's tough on hair but smooth on your face leading to single stroke efficiency that brings satisfaction one stroke at a time it's also waterproof has a cordless trimmer as well so get 20% off and free shipping with our code 49ers at manscaped.com slash 49ers that's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash 49ers promo code 49ers as for Deshaun Gibson John Lynch sharing an update on him what a story he was like Jake Brendel last year Get signed to the practice squad prior to the season because of Jimmy Ward's injury. And then Ward was out for a couple of weeks. Gibson started at safety and legitimately played at an all-pro caliber level. Lynch, quote, I think he wants to play and we'd like to have him back. He said that because Gibson did admit after the year he was going to think about whether or not to return or retire. He did say recently he does want to continue his NFL career and he'll probably get a little bit more money than he did last year when he played on the veteran minimum. Gibson in 2022, a revelation. Really good safety aside from Hufanga, and that's a reason why the Niners and their coaching staff moved Jimmy Ward to slot nickel corner because they didn't want to take Gibson off the field. Five interceptions, eight pass breakups, zero touchdowns allowed in coverage when he was targeted only surrendered a passer rating of 53 on 768 passing snaps. Before we get to Emmanuel Mosley, who's going to be a marquee free agent for this squad, if you love the San Francisco 49ers report and you enjoy the level of passion that I have for this show and the content that I produce, type real one because that means that you're a real one and I appreciate that. It's a real one roll call for all the real ones out there. Emmanuel Mosley, will he re-sign with the Niners and stay in the Bay Area? Coming off a torn ACL, but before the injury, my man was balling. And did Nick Bosa say on the Richard Sherman podcast that he knew something that we didn't? that E-Man was going to return because he basically kind of spilled those beans, maybe unintentionally, or maybe he just didn't know that Emmanuel Mosley was going to be a free agent coming off that ACL injury. Here's Lynch with an update on E-Man. We like Mosley, who he is as a person, who he is as a player. He fits us well, and so that's a position that you always need depth, and if he can provide that, I think it's a good thing for us. And I hope that John Lynch puts a priority on bringing Emmanuel Mosley back. In 2021, he was spectacular. In 2022, prior to the injury, on the road against the Carolina Panthers, he was also really good. But two years ago, no touchdowns allowed in coverage. 11 pass breakups on 74 targets, 495 coverage snaps in total, and he only allowed 33 receiving yards per game. If you have Emmanuel Mosley and Charvarius Mooney Ward as your one-two corners, and then you have Diamador Lenore out of the slot with a little Samuel Womack mixed in there, that's a very good secondary for this team. If you want to interact with me on Twitter and Instagram, feel free to do so. The free agency period is going to be busy. We're going to be putting in long, hard hours. So if you want to tell me that you appreciate me, cool. If you want to tell me that you hate me, that's fine as well. You have a question about the Niners, hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at Chase underscore senior.